Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to Trimmer Trails. Today, we're gonna talk really fast about the BO Unleashed system. There's been some questions about it. I'm not an expert at it, but I'll give you my two cents and a gadget that you should put in your truck that's gonna make your entertainment value so much more enjoyable going down the highway. Start the clock. For you guys that may not know, the BO Unleashed system is an 18 speaker system that is in the higher trims on Ford vehicles. Now I've heard mixed reviews on the eight speaker setup. I don't know about that one. We have the 18 speaker setup, so that's what I'm gonna talk about in the 402. This system has upgraded six inch speakers on the back doors. You have tweeters above your head. You have tweeters on your A pillars. You have a 3.1 mid range in the middle of the dash. And then you have two ambient, what they call ambient speakers over your headrest. Now a lot of guys are saying that they don't hear their headrest working and it's really simple to fix that. Now on your balance and fade, Usually the default position is somewhere up here. And so you're not hearing the full range of your system. All you do is take your balance and fade knob, hold it down and go right behind the cup holders of the seats. And then you're gonna have all your speakers working for you and you're gonna be able to hear a lot better the speakers in your headrests. I think some of the main complaints has been that a lot of guys think that the system just doesn't sound good when they're listening to streaming songs. You have to remember that with this system, you need to be streaming in HD, high definition type songs. If you're just doing the typical Spotify or Apple tunes in the regular settings, then just stay in stereo and enjoy it for what it is. There's a big thing that happens with lossless and MP3 and wave formats that would take us forever to talk about, but just know that there are high definition songs that you can download on Apple tunes and on Spotify that are gonna give you a way better immersive experience with your music. This is not a thumper system. If you want a thumper system like we did in the 90s and in the 2000s, you're gonna have to go get you a big old subwoofer and stick it in there and amp it up. I think for what it does though, it does a pretty dang good job. Really where I think this thing shines though is when you're watching videos or you're watching movies in this system. So let's dive into the next little trick that I wanted to talk about. Now what I got here is called the Magic Box. There's a couple companies that make this kind of device. They were kind of the first and I wanted to go with them because uh, they've kind of been tried and true with this. It is a super simple, easy setup and it's a good way to keep yourself entertained going down the highway. We drive vast amounts of miles to go get on trails and what we used to do is we would take the iPad and shove it up there against the screen and then the wife would watch a movie as I would drive drive and kind of look over from time to time. Now, with the Magic Box, all you do is simply plug this in to the actual truck, it hooks up to your phone, and now you can watch anything you want while going down the highway. Let me show you how it hooks up, it's really simple. So what the Magic Box does is it simply plugs into your USB down here. The Magic Box acts like a CarPlay, either Apple or Android. And what you have is you have all of your apps in here. You can go through and add all the apps you want. I have Netflix, I have YouTube, I have Amazon Prime, I have HBO Max. Essentially any streaming service you can get on this box. The Magic Box is connected to the Wi-Fi of the truck and then the phone over here is connected by Bluetooth to the box and that's how you're getting around the circle. If you have kids or you have the wife or you're on long trips, you can easily watch and stream something going down the highway. Just remember that you're not supposed to watch it while you're driving. I don't have the new update yet that has come across my display, so I'm still at uh, three quarter. Once that new update comes through, you're gonna have a full screen right here as well. Price point on these things are pretty are pretty reasonable. It was like 230 bucks and it took all the guesswork out of it. It was simply plug it in, hook up your phone to the magic box, hook up the Wi-Fi to the magic box and you were done. If you're still in the stereo system format, you're still doing just a left and a right. So you're not gonna hear all of those speakers going crazy. But if you're watching a movie or listening to high definition music and you're in surround sound, trust me, you're gonna notice the difference. Go check out that magic box. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I actually caught wind of them through a Facebook ad. I did some research on them. And honestly, I couldn't be more happy with the purchase. It still interacts with your phone. So if somebody calls you, everything will stop 
your phone will turn on just like normal Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, whichever, whichever one you use. I use the Android Auto. Hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Go tweak on that setting. If you haven't done that yet, you'll notice that you'll start hearing your speakers better. Remember that you gotta be using high quality music or watching a really good movie and surround sound to get the full experience of what this thing is about. I think it's a good little system. Like I said, it's not gonna be a thumper. If you wanna do that, you wanna go listen to your rap music or your Eminem or just some really high quality rock rock, you're going to have to put a subwoofer in there. But for what it is, I think it checks all the boxes. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up down below. I'll do my best to answer it. And until next time, we hope to see you guys out there on the trails. Bye.